Today we're going to learn how to automate a low pass filter in Ableton. So I have this example set up and uh, basically what I did was automate the low pass filter on this lead synth sound. Um, and this sort of technique is great in the event you want sounds that evolve or build over time. Uh, and it's become quite popular in modern electronic music. So I'll play this in real time and you can watch the automation occur on my EQ. So we get this really nice building effect. Now if you like this dubstep example, uh, be sure to check out Dubstep Apocalypse 2. So let's go ahead and automate a low pass filter. The first thing we'll want to do is put an EQ on the sound we want to automate. And we can bypass filters 1 through 3. And then we'll set filter 4 to a low pass. Now once you do that, you can scroll over to your actual audio track and we already have EQ8 pulled up. You want to make sure that's the case. And then on the second drop down menu, you want to go ahead and choose frequency A for filter 4. So then we can just pencil in our automation. It's really that simple. And I want it to increase over time. So. So go ahead and get used to working with automation. Now we could reverse this and have the opposite effect, have it decrease, or even draw in more detailed envelopes uh, just to get a nice evolving sort of feel. This has been an inside look at how to automate a low pass filter in Ableton. Check us out at PlatinumLoops.com.